So when I started dating my wife, sometimes I'd go over for dinner and my mother-in-law would say, we're, over, we're eating a la 45 tonight. Mm. So that means that you don't want to really do a good meal and it's not really a cheap, cheap meal. So yeah. it's like... Hey, it's like the olives come out of the fridge, a wedge of cheese comes out, Absolutely. some prosciutto comes out, some bread. Absolutely. That sounds like my specialty. So this is like an organized form of a la 45. Okay, la 45. Just shove it all together and make That's it beautiful. It. The kids my age are calling it the adult lunchable. Mm, I like that. Welcome back to Vince's at Home. We have some really exciting stuff for you this week. We have Nicolina here, who is our deli and prepared food specialist at all of our Vince's Market with a wealth of information and knowledge. Like our slogan, Nicolina is here to show us how entertaining is made easy. So I'm very excited to learn from you because who doesn't love a good charcuterie board? And the wonderful thing about them is they can be so versatile in what you can pick to go on them based on your mood, based on the season. Giancarlo, I'll be honest with you, even if they're lazy and they don't want to cook for that night, Pick up some food. Board. Absolutely. We don't call our customers lazy usually. No, I call myself lazy. <laughs> For today's episode, Nicolina is going to go down into our store and she's going to select items from a wide assortment of products to be a part of our charcuterie board. And then Mallory here is going to be her helper in putting this together. When building a charcuterie board, I like to pick three to four different cheeses from mild to strongest. One of my favorite cheeses to always add on the charcuterie board is a brie. A truffle cheese. One of my favorites has been the Applewood smoked cheddar. Our Vince's own pineapple and mango jelly. It is great pairing with our Vince's brie. One of the dry cured meats that I do like to incorporate in all of my charcuterie boards is the cacciatore. One of the other ones that I like to use from Venetian meats is also the copa, prosciutto on the charcuterie board. When it's really, really thin, oval shaped, it just gives it that extra look, that extra wow factor. You don't want it too thick or too thin with the coca. The last is the uh, mild soppressata. Always add a little bit of crackers on your board and always try something different, something new all the time. Strawberries is a must. Blackberries. We'll do some kiwi as well. Always have our traditional grapes on our board. Our Italian favorite traditional fruit that goes on the charcuterie board is a fresh fit. When creating a charcuterie board, always have everything prepped. When I build the charcuterie board, I always like to break things up. So when our guests come over, it looks beautiful, looks colorful, inviting. So we're going to start with the brie. So it is a triple cream brie and it is Vince's own. So I set the cheeses, give it space, then I will do the meat. I don't like it to be too neat. I like messy. Agreed. I mean, you know what? And you don't feel bad when you ruin it. Exactly. I feel like, oh, okay. It's exactly. Fine. I don't know about you, but when I have my guests over, I want to sit down and converse with them. Yeah. Our next cheese is the Applewood Smoked Cheddar. So Copa is also known as a dried Capicolo. Please do not do this. Right. But, <gasps> oh. So I love makes that. it look rustic. Just ask for it shaved, and all you have to do is literally grab it from the bag and pop it on the board. I'm really hungry. Same. This is the actual Merlot wine that has been aged. I like to put it upside down, so it gives it that extra color. In my household, the more food, the better. We never want our, our guests to go home when there's absolutely no leftover, ever. And the last product that I would put is the cacciatore. With the cacciatore, don't do it straight. I would do it on an angle. Just like, you know, fill a little bit here. So once we're done with the meats and the cheeses, then we just want to plug in. Okay. Because we don't want to leave any wood. No. The only wood that you should be seeing is the front. It's too hot in here with these two ladies in the spotlight. <laughs> And then the last thing that we're going to add beside our charcuterie board is some crackers. What wine goes with what on this charcuterie board? 
My favorite part. So uh, Yeah, mine too. <laughs> with the mild cheeses, we go with a white wine. And Mallory, would you like to say which one uh, we have there? We have a Blue Giavello Prosecco. Oh, now you're here. Now you want to participate. I don't know when the wine comes up. <laughs> and with the strong cheeses would be the Rufino. These are also available here at Vences. Thank you very much for having me here today to show how easy it is to make a charcuterie board. And Thank uh, you. to you at home, I hope uh, we get to see you soon. And you can ask any of our supervisors for any information. Cheers. 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 Mangia. Mangia. Ma Ooh. Tutti tavola a mangiare. That's it. Exactly. <laughs>